dear students let us see another example on simpson rule and trapezoidal rule let me read out this question dividing the range into 10 equal parts find the value of integral 0 to pi by 2 the integrating function is sin x dx using simpson rule so this example in this example we will solve this integration by simpson 1/3 and then 3/8 so to start with the simpson 1/3 we need to define a table for the given integral so to define a table first let us define a function f of x so what is your integrating function f of x is sin x and then we need to define the value of h so already we have seen how to find the value of h the formula is upper limit minus the lower limit over the number of interval in this problem it is given as divide into 10 equal parts so we will divide it by 10 so now what is the value of h it will be pi and pi by 2 minus 0 is pi by 2 and this 2 will come to the denominator and on multiplication with 10 will give you 20 so the value of h is pi over 20 now let us define the table the first value the initial value is 0 and then we add the difference 0 plus pi by 20 will give you pi over 20 and then the next value is obtained by pi by 20 plus the difference is pi by 20 you will get so 2 pi by 20 you can write this 2 pi by 20 as pi over 10 or you can keep it as 2 pi by 20 so my suggestion is keep it as 2 pi by 20 for further calculation it will be easy to you now similarly we add another pi by 20 the difference value to get the third term so the next value will be the next value will be 2 pi by 20 3 pi by 20 like that until the last value which is which is 10 pi by 20 now for each corresponding x we need to find our f of x so what is our f of x here sin x now i am going to substitute the value of x as 0 i told you already when you are dealing with a trigonometric terms Uh, try to change your calculator to a radian mode so now it is given as 0 to pi by 2 in a radian measure we keep our calculators in radian mode so when you substitute x equal to 0 you will get 0 when i substitute x equal to pi by 2 the second value the corresponding f of x that we obtained is 0.1564 and uh, this table uh, we have uh, i have kept Uh, as a three decimal place as a minimum and a maximum of four decimal places right so keeping a three decimal places will leads to a good results now let us see the formula we have framed the table now let us see the formula for trapezoidal one third rule already i explained you about this formula so let me read it out again uh, the formula contains the value of h and then over 3 and then the initial value the initial value is your y not y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 y7 y8 y9 and then y10 so here the value of h is uh, pi over 20 over 3 the value of h open a bracket 
now the initial and the final value what is your initial value 0 plus what is your final value we have 1 close the bracket and then 4 times into so the entries of your y having the odd number so what are the odd numbers we have y1 what is your y1 point 0 0.1564 and then y3 plus 0 0.4540 and then y5 <coughs> 0 0.7071 and then y7 that is 0 0.891 and the last one is y9 9877 right now we got the middle term plus 2 times 2 times into the even entries. What are the even entries we have? Y2. So Y2 is 0 0.309 and then Y4 0 0.5878 plus and then Y6 is 0 0.8090 and then the last one is y8 the value of y8 is 0 0.9511 close the bracket on simplifying this expression will leads to the result as 1.000 right so whatever that i have explained before is written in this terms right now the final result is 1 we got it right now let us apply the simpson 38 rule according to the simpson 38 rule the rule has three times of h value which is pi by 20 over 8 the initial and the final value here 0 plus 1 uh, leave this one now come to this part so two times of the entries of your y having multiple of 3. So what are the multiples of 3 in our table? The multiples of 3 are the multiples of 3 that we are having y3 y3 y6 and y9 right. So use this value here use this value here so y3 y6 and y9 right and y9 and then the middle term is three times of the remaining values what are the remaining values that you have you make a sum and evaluate this expression will result on 0.902 one one right so this is your calculated value let us see the actual value for the given integral what is the actual value for the given integral let me solve it so look at this the given integral is uh, 0 to pi by 2 sin x what is the integral of sin minus cosine x and what is the limit we have 0 to 0 to pi by pi by 2 when I apply the upper limit it will be minus cosine pi by 2 minus of the lower limit minus cosine 0 cosine pi by 2 is 0 cosine 0 is 1 minus of minus 1 will be plus 1 so when you look at our calculated value uh, numerical value the value that we obtain from one third rule is near to our actual value.